2022 was a year for Leon Lowry to step onto the scene. The linebacker contributed one and a half sacks and had a big highlight early in the season. Another low snap looks off to the right, evades pressure in a moving pocket, is taken down! Leon Lowry, the backup linebacker, off the edge. That moment in week four of last season against Virginia happened right behind me inside the dome. Fast forward to 2023 and Lowry continues to improve. The linebacker has two and a half sacks in front of his home crowd. But it's not about what he's doing in there, but how Lowry improved on the practice field right over there. He changed his body. Uh, from spring to the summer and from the minute he came on the field during August you could see that he was out to get something and he's been determined ever since he hasn't been doing it with this he's been doing it with this and when you do it the quiet way not the loud way normally everyone seems to see and hear what you're doing putting in more work in the weight room and on and off the field like the little things like pass rush uh, we read in my keys, coverage, everything came to the play. We're getting more of the film work with the coaches, all that stuff. I feel like uh, it changed over from last year. Lowry picked up a sack last week against UNC, but in a new number, number nine. Changing from 16 to a single digit is a reward for hard work in the SU program, and Lowry is grateful. Coach Baber was like, whoa, like, yeah, I know that you're starting and all, but like, you still need to like show more on the field so I kind of took that as motivation for me to get my single digit because you know like I said not everybody just could get a single digit here so that felt good to finally be able to go home and get one. A number change leads to higher expectations and the test against number four Florida State this Saturday is the toughest for Lowry all year. Ben Spector, Citrus TV.